Hello, this video is for GCSE Art Textiles. The aim of this video is to be able to use 2D design to create a range of different products which could be laser cut as part of your final design. And this is all going to be based on the theme of architecture. So the brief from Miss Conniford is to create something that looks a little bit like this. So we're going to show you a few different techniques that you can use to make different elements of this and you will then spend the rest of the lesson combining them together to create your final piece. I will then show you at the end of the video how to upload. I would recommend you watch a little bit of this video and have a go at the techniques. So pause it regularly, give it a go yourself, and then once you've watched the whole video, you can start to put together your final design. So to do this, we are going to go onto your desktop and go to 2D Design. Just double click on there and it will load the program. If this box appears in the middle, just click anywhere on the page and that will disappear. Now the first thing we're going to do is find some inspiration. So I would go onto uh, the internet, find some ideas of uh, cityscapes, bridges, anything to do with the theme of architecture that you might want to use. I've had a look already. I found it was best to uh, look for silhouettes because this is going to be much easier to convert into 2D design. So I was looking at things such as bridges and uh, cityscapes. I found some really nice ideas here that uh, I might try and borrow. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take uh, this bridge design. I'm going to right click and copy the image and then I'm going to paste it by doing right click and paste here into 2D design. Now once we've got it into 2D design we have a few options of what we can do with it. We can either try and trace around the outside. So if we zoom in a little bit so you can use the magnifying glass there to do so. We've got a few tools down here that we could use to trace the outline. Uh, we could use the line if we're dealing with straight edges. We've got uh, the path tool, which we can use if we want to draw some curves, or we could use arcs, circles, however you want to do it. We could then just start drawing and tracing over these lines. So I could have a go at doing that now for you. And again, to begin with, we can be quite uh, rough with this. We can then move the lines around if we need to. As soon as you finish a line, you just right click and it's done. If at any point you want to undo anything, you just hit Control and Z together on your keyboard. So drawing the outline and tracing around a design, that's one way of doing it. There is an easier method though, and I'll show you that now. If you click on the image, it should then select like this and you've got that pink sort of grid forming over it. We can then go to bitmaps, and at the bottom, we've got Vectorize Bitmap. We then click on the image again. And it brings up the Vectorize window. We're then going to click Monochrome. And now you can adjust this slider so that you get the clearest version of your image. And you can choose how you want this to be. So I'm going to go for somewhere around here. And I'll click OK. And then you click OK again. What this has done now is it's turned our image into something that we can edit. We can always move stuff around by clicking that middle box there. Now, for our laser cutter, anything in black is going to cut out. If we want to engrave, then we can do it in red. And if we want to cut out any holes in the middle, we need to make them blue. Now, we don't want our whole shape here to be filled in black. So we're going to go to the Fill tab at the top and go No Fill and then we click OK. Now we've still got all of this stuff down here at the bottom which we don't want. So to get rid of this, we select by clicking on the object. If you then hold down the control key on your keyboard and then press the letter U several times, you should then be able to select individual pieces and delete them by pressing the delete key. At this stage, you can change any parts of this design. So we should now, if we go control and then press U again a few more times, we should now be able to select individual pieces. Now it doesn't seem as though that bit's working for me today, but you can select individual pieces of the design and you can delete them and change them. Now on its own, this is not a complete product. I would like to see in your designs that you are combining lots of elements together to create something a little bit more like our image here. So you could put the bridge as part of here with a cityscape along the top. Let's have a go at doing that now. So if I go back to my Google search, I found uh, this cityscape here that I quite like the look of. 
I'm going to right click and copy the image. I'm going to go back to 2D design and I'll paste this one in just up here. Again, you can zoom in and out using the magnifying glass at the side. And if you want to change the, the size and shape of an image, you just click and drag the little, uh, little squares we've got at the edge. So I'm going to move mine around something like that. I'm going to zoom back in so I can see clearly. And I'm going to repeat that vectorizing process. So just to recap, I've selected the image. I go bitmaps and vectorize. I reselect. Go back to monochrome. I'm quite happy with how that looks, but you can change the slider if you need to. And I'll click OK and OK again. We just wait for that to vectorize. As I said before, I want to get rid of any of this uh, fill that we've got. So we go fill and no fill. That gives us just the outline. And there I've got my cityscape that could go potentially at the top of the design. We can now make this bigger or smaller. We can also change the height if we wanted to as well to make it fit to your design. I could then drag that across, place it above the bridge. Now at the moment, these are two completely separate drawings. What we would need to do is join them together and we could use any of the line tools, spline, the shapes to join these up. One thing to bear in mind though, you want to have a complete closed shape to cut out. It's the difference between having this circle that I've now drawn and this line. If we're trying to cut out a shape, the circle joins up so it's able to cut out that shape. The line is just going to be a single line cut through. It's not going to cut out a whole shape. So when we're creating our final product, we want it to be all joined up so that we can cut it out of a single piece of acrylic. To get this shape of our design here, we can then heat it up and form it to create all kinds of different bends and shapes to fit the product that you're going to design. Let's have a go then at putting this all together into one product. So I've got my cityscape above. For now, I'm going to just move the bridge out of the way. I'm gonna come back to that one a little bit later and see if we can fit it into the design. So I'm just going to select it and I'm gonna move it down to the bottom here. What I now need to do is just make sure that this cityscape is all going to join up and not to fall apart. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle underneath here. This is to join everything onto. I'm then going to hold down on over the delete any and go across to delete part between the two intersections. This is going to allow us to chop out parts of the line like this. And this means that our uh, buildings aren't going to separate and fall apart. We could then, continuing with the architecture theme, start to add in some more shapes down here. Now, if you look a lot in architecture, triangles are used a lot in their designs, and we can see this in here as well. This triangular structure is used a lot in bridges and buildings because it's a really strong design. Let's have a go at adding that in too. So we can use the line tool to start sketching some triangles. And you can uh, start with one, like so. Best thing to do as well, if we zoom in a little bit, we can make sure that it all joins up. And to do that, I'm just going to select the line and I'm going to drag it along to the point where they overlap. And I can go back to using the trim tool chop off any excess. I'm then going to select it. I'm going to press Control and G on my keyboard and that makes one solid triangle that we can then use. Down here we've got the option to copy. So I'm going to copy the triangle. I can then click and drag this circle to rotate it round and you can grab the middle square there to move it. And I'm going to bring it across a little bit now, because these are going to be cutouts, we're going to want to select them and make them blue. And we do that by changing the color. And we always use this blue on the bottom edge for any cutouts. Because I want to do this all the way along, 
The next thing I will do is select both of these together. I can then create a copy by pressing down here and I can drag that into place. And I can do the same again as many times as I want. And it doesn't just have to be triangles. This could be any shape that you want to put in here. The other option is you don't have to take an image from the internet at all. You could use any of these design tools down the left hand side of the page to create your own cityscape or your own bridge design. I would try and fill your page with as much detail and content as you can. So I've gone for some fairly simplistic designs here, but the ideas can be made more advanced and more detailed. For the rest of this lesson, you, was, you should be trying to fill this page with as much content, take as many images, vectorize them as possible, and try and link them up to create one final product, which can be laser cut. Just make sure that you do have one continuous outline all the way around the outside in black. Any parts in the middle, so such as these windows or these cutouts, they should always be in blue. And you can engrave any details on the surface using the color red. And this will just burn the design on the surface, it won't cut through. At the end of this lesson, you need to save your work. To do this, you're going to go File, Save As. You then go to this PC. We then scroll down to the bottom where we've got the work submissions drive and you double click on here. You're then part of the technology department. So you go to technology. It'll then be under the F2 laser cutter. And I'm gonna create a new folder for year 10 textiles. Inside this folder, I will then create two new ones for 10B and 10C. Depending on which class you're in, you will save your work in this folder. For now though, I'm just gonna save mine here. So I'm gonna save it as my name, Mr. Thomas. You will save yours as your name, obviously. And I'm going to click save to save it into that location. This means your work is going to be kept safe and we can uh, get this onto our laser cutter in the future. If you've not quite finished, you can also save a copy into your documents that you can still edit if you need to do any final improvements in a future lesson. I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And if you do have any questions, please send your teacher to find me. Thank you for watching and good luck.